Hello and welcome back to Crumbs and Doilies HQ. Now, rainbows are very popular and still popular even after all this time. I've got tons of rainbow recipes. I've even got a rainbow playlist, which I'll put a link to down there in the description box. Um, and one of my most popular, well actually the most popular recipe on my channel is the rainbow cake, which all of you seem to love, over 4 million views. So rainbows aren't going away anytime soon, so I thought I would make another rainbow thing for you. And this is going to be a baked rainbow cheesecake. And to make it really pop, I'm going to be using Oreos for my buttery biscuit base, which is going to make it sort of really dark and make the colours really go crazy. So I have some Oreos here which I've already whizzed up and I'm going to mix some golden syrup and some melted butter in with that. And I'm going to just mix that through until it's kind of wet sand consistency. I'm using a seven inch square tin which I have greased and double lined with greaseproof paper. And I'm going to pop that all in and press it down really firm. Okay, that's looking nice and tight. So I'm going to leave that to one side and now I'm going to get on with making the cream cheese filling. And this is really, really easy. It's an all-in-one method. You beat it all together. It's very simple. Starting with cream cheese, obviously. And I've got lots of cream cheese here. All the quantities are in the description box below, so check that out. So put your cream cheese in, along with your caster sugar, two large free-range eggs, and a quarter of a teaspoon of good quality vanilla extract. And I'm going to put this onto my mixer with this guy, the balloon whisk attachment. Now, if you don't have a freestanding mixer and you just have a whisk, that'll do. It'll just take a little bit longer. So put all your bits and bobs onto your mixer. And then you need to beat this for about four or five minutes until it's really sort of thick and spreadable. All right, that looks perfect. So. The next thing is to make it into a rainbow. And obviously rainbows have an infinite amount of colours, but I've only got, you know, some small amount of time. So I've chosen five colours to represent my rainbow. If you want to use more, that's completely fine. If you want to use fewer, that's also fine. But I think five gives a really nice rainbowy look. So to start with, I'm going to divide my mixture as evenly as possible into five bowls. So for my rainbow, I'm going to be doing purple, turquoise, orange, yellow, and pink. And I'm using colour paste as usual because it doesn't change the consistency as much. So I'm going to start colouring. I'm going to start with a pea-sized amount and mix it really well through. So all my colours are mixed, so now I need to start building this guy. And I'm going to start with the purple, spread it out, and then keep going through my colours until I've reached pink. Right, this is all layered up and it's ready to bake. And I'm going to be baking it in a bain marie. And that basically means I'm putting it in a larger tin, like so, and pouring some water in um, up to about a centimetre or an inch up the sides. And what that's going to do is help to bake it at a more even temperature and it's also going to help to prevent cracks on the top. So this is going to be baked at 170 degrees C for 30 to 35 minutes and you want to check it with a toothpick in the middle to make sure it's all set. My cheesecake baked and I left it to cool and I've actually put it in the fridge for about half an hour as well just to chill it down a little bit because now I'm going to put some ganache on the top and this is going to really sandwich it between two dark layers to really make those colours really pop. So I've got some ganache here and also don't worry if your um, cheesecake is kind of slurped in a little bit, that happens, it's still going to look awesome, uh, especially once we put this ganache on. So I've got 75 grams of dark chocolate with 75 grams of double cream which I melted together in the microwave and it is a pourable consistency. I'm just going to pour that right on top. And to give it a little help evening it out, I'm just going to tip the tin this way and that, just to make sure it gets into all the corners. And give it a little tap just to get rid of any air bubbles. And then you can put that into the fridge for about 20 minutes to set. My cheesecake is totally set and chilled. Now it's time for the big reveal. So I'm going to peel off the baking paper and oh yeah, look at that rainbow. So once you've got all your baking paper peeled off the sides, you can see how brilliant this is going to look when you cut it. And just to finish it off, I'm actually going to fit, um, put some colourful sprinkles on the top. And I've made my own mixture 
Luckily, I have quite a lot of sprinkles, as you can see, but if you don't have access to this many sprinkles, which is kind of unlikely, there's loads of websites that do kind of pre-mixed sprinkles. So get yourself involved uh, and then sprinkle all your lovely colourful sprinkles onto your ganache. And now I'm going to slice into this to see the rainbow within. And look at that rainbow. The layers are really crisp and with the dark chocolate on the base and the top, it's really, really popping. So please make that. If you do, take a picture, put it on, has on Instagram with hashtag CupcakeGemma so that I can see it and like it. And don't forget, you can check out my merch on CupcakeGemma.com. I've got loads of cool, colorful stuff. And if you like colors, then I have got a rainbow playlist. So this will be going on there. I've got loads of other cool rainbow bakes. So check that out and I will see you next week. Bye.